Along with the build, spring is a busy time of year for the staff at the zoo. Mike Davis is joined with our friend Sean Brehob from the zoo and a pretty flamingo. Now, now, Sean, you, I know this is a Chilean flamingo, <laughs> but when you brought it in here, I'm looking at it because he's, he's, he's giving me the stare down. He had two legs when he came in here. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, this is, this is pretty cool. We're all used to seeing the pink flamingos in the front yard right. and with one leg. And uh, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of people wonder why they do this. And yeah. I think it's just a magnificent ability of a bird to be able to hold itself up. I mean, you know that if we stand on one leg for a long period of time, we start to sway and whatnot. Yeah, our legs are three-dimensional. That's a tinker toy. Yeah, I mean, it, look at that thing. Well, look at the, the foot the, that's on the ground, just the way that they have the, the strength in that to hold them up. But a lot of times they'll even put that foot up in the feathers to warm them that foot up. Oh, okay. If you think of the blood flow that has to go from the body all the mm -hmm. way down to that foot and as thin as that leg is, it helps to tuck it up in the feathers and stay warm. Now, if I, I've had these guys attack me, <laughs> attack me before, so I'm just keeping an eye this on This one, him. this is Maddie, and this okay. is the safe one. The two hey, that Maddie. you're talking about the fighting are, flamingos, are Marty and Shorty, and okay. those two have a little bit of a of an attitude. an attitude. So Maddie is a little bit of a younger, and this is a Chilean flamingo. Which um, is why we're not pink like some of the ones I'm used yeah, to seeing. Yeah, so, so your Chileans will stay pretty much this light shade pink. You see the sort of bright salmon color in mm -hmm. the wings, but the ones that you're used to seeing on zoo grounds are your big Caribbeans, and those are the real tall, bright, bright pink birds. Um, uh, Maddie and her friends actually can be seen down at Animal Encounters Village. And then when Africa, you guys just saw some video there with Tom Stoff, um, when Africa comes in play, we actually have lesser flamingos, which is a different species that will be over in that area also. Okay. Now, I noticed when, when, when we were on two legs before, this is very slippery turf. Yeah. And this is probably, a, you say, a little cool? Yeah, the room is a little bit cool. The room that they're typically housed in is going to stay anywhere from 75 degrees or above. Um, these guys actually do have been spending the weekend out at Animal Encounter, so it's been pretty cool, cool this right. past weekend. Um, but as it warms up, that's the weather that they really like. I mean, these are, this is a bird that would prefer to be in sort of that warm climate. And let's talk, hey, hello. Oh. <laughs> let's talk about warming up. Uh, it's almost time for Zumbezi yes. Bay. Yes, this weekend, actually, Zumbezi Bay will open up just for the weekend, though. So it'll be open this weekend. It'll shut down till about the 24th and then open back up for the long haul and open every day from that point on to, what's that, Labor Day, way down in the, the future. Now, I've been over there once in a while animals get over there. I mean, yep. you take them over for a little visit every yeah, once in a while? Yeah, so, so sometimes you might see a few animals. One of the things that you'll see in Zumbezi Bay right when you enter is what we call our bird island. So mm -hmm. we have a lot of different macaw species that actually will be housed right in that area so folks can get up close. Just sort of adding to the, the environment there and making it look sort of more tropical than just thinking of central Ohio. Mm -hmm. And speaking of tropical, when, when this one opens its wings, I mean, bright orange under yes. there, right? Yeah, so. it's a very, they're very beautiful. And I think all flamingos have that very pretty color. They all have slightly different shades depending on the species. And some have darker legs and some have darker beaks. But I think they're a really cool animal. You know, if you look at that leg, that middle part of the leg that you and me would think is the knee is actually oh, right. their ankle. ankle. So yeah. that's just another magnificent thing about a, a bird that's, you know, pretty unique looking. Well, Sean, thanks for bringing her in. You're very welcome. Very beautiful bird. Cool day out there this afternoon. And we'll be back. Young and the rest is coming up now.